Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Encyclopedia of European Cooking from 1962, we're going to be making the sandwich with cheese, shrimps, and mayonnaise. Now 1962 saw the Rolling Stones play their first ever gig. Uh, Planters Peanuts introduced dry roasted peanuts for the first time, and it was the birth year of both John Bon Jovi and Matthew Broderick. Now in the book they say this is a Danish recipe, and it is open faced, but I have no idea if it's actually Danish. First thing we have to do, uh, butter the bread, I already did that. Second thing we have to do is cut off the crusts. Now we lay on three strips of cheese, and I'm using Havarti because I figure, you know, why not? Then we put on shrimp. They might have used smaller shrimp. I did say peeled shrimp, not canned. So. And then on top of each piece of shrimp we put a little dab of mayonnaise. Now it says to decorate with small sprigs of parsley. Okay, let's give this sandwich with cheese, shrimps, and mayonnaise a go. So Havarti is a um, delicious buttery cheese, but it's pretty mild. And then you've got butter, shrimp, and mayonnaise, and nothing in the way of seasoning like salt or pepper. It feels a little bland. I do think we can plus this up just a smidge. I'm going to add a little lemon zest and black pepper. Okay, let's give this sandwich with cheese, shrimps, and mayonnaise plus up with lemon zest and black pepper. Go. All right, so this is much better, uh, and that's because we've got a couple of contrasts going on with the bright citrusy lemon peel and the black pepper, counteracting kind of the richness of the mayonnaise and the cheese and playing off the sweetness of the shrimp. I think this is really tasty now. Well, I gotta say, the original sandwich with cheese, shrimps, and mayonnaise, it was kind of a bland affair. I like shrimp, I like cheese, I like mayonnaise, I like parsley, um, but it was pretty bland. I'm gonna give that probably four and a half. Plus up with the lemon zest and the black pepper, that's like a six and a half, seven now. That is actually a very tasty bite. I would actually make this again, but I would probably make it as an hors d'oeuvre for a cocktail party because I think that'd be really nice. All right, I'm gonna finish this for lunch and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.